Alright, level fucker here, right? Let's continue playing League of Legends! Oh wait, that's a totally different game. I mean Lunar Legends! Yeah, I already tried League of Legends recording, but when I record it lags so damn bad it's not even funny. Or is it? Anyway, let's just play Serulian... if I'm even pronouncing it right. Serulian Heavens 3. Oh, this song is familiar. I heard this in Mario Gives Up, the first one, in the bonus world. Except, this port sounds a lot different. Okay, okay, I had no idea those would be breaking. And now where do I jump? Yeah, this is familiar. Except the port sounds a lot different from when it did in Mario Gives Up. Okay, jump... Okay, this is definitely harder than the other worlds, but I'm still having an easy time, because, well... Yeah, this is coming from a guy who's currently trying to beat Luigi's Adventure 3, and racing to the finish to make it even more challenging. Because just playing the game wasn't interesting enough for you people. You gotta race to the finish. If it's still a race, anyway. I keep wondering if I'm actually still racing, or if it's just, like, a let's play for fun or whatever. I don't know. Let's land here. Okay, that's pretty interesting there. That was an interesting idea. Now you're starting to put, like, two chainsaws together. I see. Now you're actually stepping and making... Now you're actually stepping up the challenge a bit. I see. Nice. But I can... Ah, oh, I'm too busy scratching my head, and then I fall off that platform. Crap. <laughs> Don't scratch your head! You'll fall! Well, now I know. Or you fall down! Oh, great. That's a freaking life lesson there. These platforms don't look like they'll fall, but surprise, surprise, they do! Surprise, 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 surprise! They start looking in their end disguise. But I think the only the platforms that are four blocks wide are gonna fall. Nothing else has fallen so far, so yeah. Only the ones that are four blocks wide. Like those ones. Maybe there's actually a slight tint to them as well. Slight yellowish tint on the green, like, also indicates that they're gonna fall. And the fact that these ones are too wide as to be falling platforms. And, ah, uh, I was having fun. End of demo. End of demo. But it was so damn good. Please, Purple Rex, finish this ROM hack, because I loved it. The visuals, holy crap. The level design, mm, I was looking for something more challenging, but I guess this isn't meant to be challenging. It's just meant to be good. Challenging doesn't necessarily mean good. Yeah, this is coming from a guy who's played a lot of Anakiti hacks recently. Well, not a lot of them, he's playing one, but he's playing Luigi's Adventure 3 as a race to the finish. I already said that. But! But, as in not my rear end but, but, but! I said but a lot of times there. Like three butts in a row, I don't know. Anyways, as for... We're just gonna get on to the next ROM hack that I'm going to play. Well, when I spat on the board of Lugies. The, th the area that was covered in the third most amount of spit was, well, Toho Mario Imperishable Night by Silver Scarlet, which is apparently the first ever hack to use the SA-1 chip, whatever the hell that is. But I think I recall seeing something else that used the SA-1 chip before that. It was one of the Talk House Make Good Level contest entries. Can't remember which. It may have been Ziggle Rock's Odysseys. I don't know. One... Talkhouse MAGL2 entry did use the SA1 chip. And that was before I found this. And holy shit. I wonder who did the art for that Reimu there. Because honestly, that looks so accurate to an actual Reimu that someone would draw. This game is a SNW hack. Girls are repairing themselves right now. Please wait warmly until ready. I'm not gonna wait, I'm gonna play. Hackeray Shrine. Yes! We're playing another Toho Mario crossover, because apparently Super Marissa World, Super Marissa Land, New Super Marissa World, New Super Marissa Land, whatever the hell. And I don't even know what that block did. Hackery Adventure Mission, Dynamaku Mario World, if you could even count that as a freaking Toho Mario crossover, or just like some random game that spams bullets like there's no tomorrow. And then we 
Uh, yet another Toho Mario crossover, known as Toho Mario, Imperishable Knight. Mostly based off the 8th Toho game, which is named Imperishable Knight. Made by Silver Scarlet, who is apparently a big Toho fan, so this makes a lot of sense. Apparently it's made to actually resemble the style of playing Toho games, where you pretty much gotta play through a bunch of levels and hit the end of the game. Apparently there's 20 stages in this, so this is gonna be pretty long. Toho Mario Imperishable Knight, Stage 1. So pretty much a bunch of the characters from the 8th game are probably going to show up in this, and apparently a few others, according to his works and progress thread. Let's just go on with Stage 1! Jow! Stage 1, where the fireflies fly. I think I know which Toho character is going to show up here. Oh, I didn't even get to read all that! But hell, we gotta keep playing. Okay, that's a weird looking enemy. And what does it say? Collect blue cards as much as you can. So the blue cards are gonna be what, like what coins? So far, the blue cards are coins. Except, I wonder if you're gonna get an extra life or anything when you reach 100. Or, and the top right corner. No, the top left corner. Actually, there's a pretty big difference between this and most other ROM hacks. The energy system is back! Red P cards! Red Piss cards will give you 20 HP, but you lose 20 HP whenever you get hit. If you run out of HP, you will game over! More like you will get game over. So what if I fall into a pit? You bounce back out, but you take damage. And I think I know what the stars above that word energy are for. They're like energy tanks, but they're more like energy stars. I don't know. I'm oh, making this up. Like, that's pretty much just like, ah, uh, frick. They're pretty much like, every time you go through, like, every time you gain 100 health points, you're gonna get one of those stars filled up. Every time you lose 100 health points, you're gonna lose one of the stars. If you run out of energy and, like, all the stars are emptied out, then it's game over. So I have, like, like 539 energy or something, not just like 39. Now that's like five stars there. As you can see right now. And <laughs> that's silly. Bounce up! Get the freaking card, cause well, why not? And no, we're not gonna get one ups in this game. I'm assuming that if you do run out of health, it's game over. You go back to the first stage. Actually, that is the case! Silver in the readme said that, like, well. If you get game over, you go back to stage 1. There are no save points. So use save states unless you're a lunatic Super Mario player. Clearly referencing Toho's lunatic difficulty. And now we're... Alright. Now, what the hell. Bah, I hate stupid bugs. I gotta read it like Mario said. Bah, I hate stupid bugs. I'm a firefly. <laughs> I'd rather have tons of ravioli in my stomach. It's ravioli. Hey, Buckator. Who's in there? Better question. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, I'm Regal Nightbug, and I heard your stupid ranting. This is Firefly territory, and if you hate them so much, I won't allow you to pass. Oh look, a bug girl! Man, the world sure became strange since I started drinking sake with ravioli! Hey, why the change of topic? Didn't you hear me? Missing apostrophe. I'm not letting you pass! Well, I'm gonna pass anyway. You're gonna stop me? You are without me, Firefly? Ha 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 ha! Why you, stupid plumber? Get ready for a Danmaku shower. Yeah, shower's what I need. Sure is what I need. <laughs> Too much. Let me get. Oh. Now, how do you fight the boss? Jump on it. Oh yes, you do. So far, this is nothing. I can just stand on the ground and be fine. Stand in the middle, stand on the ground. What the hell hit me? So I think I know how this works. Just jump on it. It doesn't look as good as I had expected it to be, considering it drew that Reimu in the intro screen! Holy shit, whoever drew that must have done an amazing job in that- oh. Oh, so there's a phase two of this, I see. Hey, I'm supposed to dodge all these bullets. Danmaku bullets. Certainly much better than Danmaku Mario World so far! Except this is much better than Danmaku Mario World. I think that was just a piece of shit, but this, however, is much, 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 MUCH better! We're just jumping on some freaking character just flies in the same pattern. 
You want me to continue squashing you? Stupid plumber, why would you want to go in such a dangerous place like this? I suggest you go home and sleep. You don't even know what you might find out here. I just want to go for a walk. I got nothing else to do. The princess is asleep in her castle and Bowser isn't planning anything, so... You really should end your trip here. And Rigo probably doesn't know who Peach and Bowser are. Get that out of my way. I'm not the going with you like it. I am going with you like it or not. Mamma mia, even Wigglers were less annoying. So, we are to stage two. All right, Jao! The path where humans vanish. At midnight, only beasts and yokai stroll on the roads of mankind. There should be a human form in sight at least. But, there's Mario. Okay, well, I like the effects on this. Can't believe I'm freaking reading that. And I don't even know how to reach up the- Okay, I have to do some. So I'm gonna need to switch again. Yep. Turn those blocks into... Piss cards. Blue piss cards. Even though they're called P. Even though they're actually spell cards, I don't know. And the switch is gonna expire soon. Yep. Now where do I go from here? Oh. <laughs> that silly little dude. But how am I gonna make it across? Yeah! I don't even have to go that far. So far, I'm doing great at this because, well, it's first level. I mean, second level, so hey, it should be easy. Now, what do I do? I'm assuming get another switch or just take a bunch of hits, but I'm gonna go for the switch. This one, to be precise. The silver one. This turns punchers into spell cards, yep. So the coins are all spell cards now. And this guy is gonna be pretty annoying. Oh, and there's freaking reskin charging chuck. Reskin into what? I don't know. And then if we keep going this way, we eventually find out that. Okay, there's that thing. And then there's this yin yang with ball with wings. So I guess the yin yangs have been taking their daily doses of Red Bull today. Now, where the hell do I go from here? Let's just bounce up and find out. Alrighty then, keep going. Really, I love this. This is definitely something I haven't seen before, and I should see more hacks like this. When Daimakumari will try to make a Toho whatever hack, it was horrible, but this is absolutely amazing. And now we get to follow the down arrow, but where the hell do we land? I'm falling too fast! And let me guess, we're gonna find another Toho character to fight against. Let me guess. No! Let me guess, I landed on someone's head. Who fight flying jumps? What this song I'm hearing? Wait, I think I know who it is now. Hey, you! You missed the ah. Uh, yep, I've been spotted, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to eat you. Is every girl I meet going to have some problem with me? It's insane! Isn't the fact you're wandering in a dangerous place like this insane? Did you ever think about what you would find? You'll fear the darkness of this forest. Crazy girl, you're going hungry tonight. <laughs> and yes. I know how this is going to work. In fact, we have to bounce. This shouldn't be hard. At least I hope so. No! Took a hit. Okay, I'm taking a bunch of hits. Now I'm starting to lose it. And then there's these freaking fire balls being dropped around. Just to make things a little more challenging. And then we get a face... Oh, this is a song from Toho. And yeah, I'm thinking actually I have to jump from one of these bullets. And of course, this makes perfect sense. This girl can blind people with her singing. Not sure if it's because she fucking sucks at singing, but that's just how it goes. She can make things turn dark with her singing. Like as you just saw there. And let me guess, it's gonna get even darker as we go along here. Gets dark! Yep. This is how you do this. It's amazing. Now, yikes. This reminds me of when I'm playing in one of my endgame levels on my own ROM hack. It just does this. Except now, what the hell happens? It's just flashing cra crazy, and now what happens? Uh, beaten by a human. Are you really a human? No. I'm crazy like you. I can make a red ball shower, and I love to eat fresh human meat. Of course I'm human, you fucking idiot! You know, like any human I've met, those jumps aren't very normal. Ever heard about Super Mario Brothers? No. Wasting time with you. Runs away. Finally! Runs our window run! I think I'll continue my trip this way. Stage 3! We're gonna end this episode here. But I wanna place a save state so I can continue from where I last left off. Because I'm not gonna do this all in one sitting. So yeah. End it here.